It doesn't matter that I'm a non-technical person who doesn't know how to fix a computer. It never goes wrong. Oh. Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Windows 8 Out of the Box from O'Reilly and Beginning Windows 8 from Apress. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get someone to give you remote help over the internet using Windows Remote Assistant in Windows 7 and Windows 8. Windows Remote Assistant is built into every version of Windows and it's a really great tool that allows people to take remote control of your computer over the internet all the time with you maintaining control of what's going on in order to give you help and support. So how does it work and how do we use it? In Windows 7, search for Remote in the search box at the Start menu and click Remote Assistance when it appears. In Windows 8, search for Remote at the Start screen. You'll need to click on the Settings search results and then click Invite someone to connect to your PC and help you. When Windows Remote Assistance opens on your computer, you want to click the Invite Someone You Trust to Help You button. When you click this, you now have to choose how you want to send the invitation to the person that you want to provide you help. You can save the invitation as a file, which you can then attach to an email if you use a web-based email such as Outlook.com or Gmail. If you have email software installed on your computer, like Outlook for instance, then you can use that email software to send the invitation directly. And you may see an Easy Connect option available to you. This is normally available if both computers are running the same operating system um, and if it's supported by your internet router and this bypasses the invitation file and allows you to connect directly just with a password. So we'll save the invitation as a file and you'll see here it's called invitation and we'll save that into our documents folder. Now we have the Windows Remote Assistance window open and you'll see there's a password here and it's saying it's waiting for an incoming connection. This is because we haven't sent that file yet. So that invitation file, you need to attach it to an email and send it to the person that you want to provide you with assistance. The person providing assistance will need to open the invitation file that you've sent them and they'll then be prompted to enter the password that appears on your own screen. You should send them this password separately and securely, perhaps in a separate email or just tell them what it is over the phone. Once they've entered this, they'll be able to see your screen but they'll need to request control of your computer and you will have to authorize this. You may optionally want to check the box that allows them to respond to user account control security prompts on your computer as this can make the remote assistance process easier. When someone is providing remote assistance to you, you still have complete control over the situation. You can stop sharing at any time by clicking the stop sharing button. Or if you want to chat to them um, and you're not already talking to them on the phone, you can open a chat window and you can send messages back and forth. It's really a very simple system to use. So that's how you can ask a friend, a family member, or an IT professional to provide remote assistance for you and your computer over the internet. It's really easy, and you can find more information in my books. I hope you found this video helpful, and for now, from me, Mike Halsey, and with music by Kevin Levy, thank you for watching.